In this workshop, we're going to see how can we improve the appearance of our simulations, especially if you want to show them to other people, which first, they are not used to see maybe chemical processes or uh, flow diagrams, or maybe even for your boss, you want to increase the how beautiful it looks, how it is easy to show up, and so on. So let's start with our previous simulation. We used to work on connectivity. And we have these right here. So the first thing you want to show, maybe you want to change the individual names of each string. So maybe you want to add these three. Maybe this is product three or two. This is product one. You can keep going so on. You can also add reactor one. This is your separator one. This is your cycle. Um, and so on you can keep going this will be the first you will want to change okay the second thing you can do is add a timestamp so right here right now my title is this one right here this is the date but this is very useful especially for you to know what are you presenting and at what time was last saved let's say that you were working on the 11th and 12th if you were to see the 11 here, you will be maybe wondering why do you present something that is not saved or updated. So this is very useful. Also, if you have a title, let's say plant one, you may add that as well. Now let's add maybe a title. Look for it here. Go to flow sheet. Click on the flow sheet and you will have these two menus. We have been working mostly on the modify. You can remove ID if you want to. Put format and let's add a title. Plant one process X. Okay. You can modify this, maybe increase the size. And if you want to add more let's say, block right here, you can do it as well. Now, what happens if you want to maybe, I want to show that this is our uh, separator and compressor area. You can do it. If you want to fill it, you can do it as well. Okay, it's black here. Sent back, I want to fill it off this color. So this is my compressor area. You can add something here as well. This is set and comp. So this is black color. It's the back. You can even change the size here, 12 maybe, bold, italics, whatever you want. Maybe you are interested on showing this right here. The reactor area, I prefer showing this rectangle. Let's work with the lines. I want to show dashed lines. Not only that, I want to add a lot of weight and I want to have them red. So let me add this text right here. This is reactor and heating area. Well, let's say section. So please note that this is actually not affecting our flow sheet or the unit operations. It, this is just a format. This is in order to make more beautiful our yeah our selection let's say maybe you want to show clearly that this is our product product one client why so this product one goes to client number one you can add it here maybe you want to show this is the 
the recycle and show these. You can always change these, whatever you want. Green, dash, and add right here. Recycle, flow. Very beautiful. Now uh, remember once again. You can still add the IDs, but I will also recommend you if you're going to present to someone that is not using this simulation, you can remove them and individually add to each one their own so, format. This is the, the counter. So this is very useful because you can also add full size. Let's say this is international XYZ model 023 separator unit. So instead of actually just having V2 block, you have this. And you can modify, remember you can have more of these. If you want to fill it, always remember sent back. You have this right here. Maybe you don't want if you want something clearer, you can do it as well. A little bit harder you can do it as well and so on what else do we want oh yeah maybe maybe you want to add a an irregular shape so you can add this here oops I don't use this one but you can do it if you want to. What else do we have here? Maybe you want to select this. Here. Okay, so let's select everything here. And now we want to add the weight maybe, this color and maybe this is a See, this is design concept. Let's set it green so we can understand. So you can add whatever you uh, want, and as you can see, guys, this is a very much more presentable solution. So you can add here, and if you were to have a stream table, you can add it. Right now, I haven't run the simulation, so I cannot add it, but you can also add the stream table. And this is a very much more interesting to present. Maybe you want to, you can also keep changing the icon. This where you have mixing valve or this tube, you want to use this one. Maybe this is just literally joining of, of pipes. You can always change icons you want I don't recommend because especially if you are using the simulation you are very used to know that this is a flash this is a decanter this is an, a separator this is a reactor and so on but this way we can always change the formatting and I think this is one of the most powerful parts whenever presenting a simulation